hello my friends welcome back to the channel i have a card to for you today that i made quite a while ago i am using a stamp artist here at the moment because all my at the time all my cut misties and everything else were all prepared for another for a card class that i was teaching I made this card back in October for my son's birthday, my 16th, my baby is 16. Anyway, it goes so fast. It's just, when did that happen? Anyway, I digress. I'm using Lawn Fawn, You're Just My Type and Simple Celebrate Critters. I've got this desk and we're going to do a little bit of pieces with him. So we've got a little lamp. I am going to roughly mask it all off. Now, word of warning. I got carried away. Like that never happens. But I got carried away. So you'll see. You'll see something later on. We'll talk about that later then. It's got this little lawn fawn um, little lamp. I like how... You can mix and match lawn fawn. I really do. I'm going to fight with this little thing because it's so tiny. I'm using a eraser, but I'm giving up. I'm giving up. It's too hard. It's too... No. So I've just stamped him down. I'm stamping down with Memento Tuxedo Black because we're going to do a little bit of Copic colouring for this one. This is where my stuff up happens. My head is going to get in the way with positioning some of these because you just need to get over the top of it. I wanted a laptop, but it's not a laptop. It's nowhere near like a laptop. And I shouldn't have just not bothered with this because why? But I took the little handle, the old fashioned handle that they use, you know, the old typewriters maybe i'm just showing my age for all the young ones out there I used to have a handle that used to take it across the other way once you got to the end of your line but any doesn't matter the simple celebrate critters have a lot of little sentiments that fit into speech bubbles so i'm using it for my little typewriter screen or computer screen and then on the bottom of this, I'm going to put some, just some X's and O's. I'm going to fight with this little image for a while there. Just a couple of little X's and O's. So you can see there, my, my typewriter is almost off the uh, desk. But, you know, I think it's okay. I think it's okay because you know like kids get too carried away with it and you know that's what happens but that's what i'm sticking to that's my story and that's what i'm going to stick to there's a cute little mouse who we're going to tuck him up off screen as you can see there and just make sure he's sitting nice and flat so he's going to be looking up at the desk like that and apart from we're going to put a little bit of ground in there because i like that i thought about doing a um and the words just escaped me is it architraves or is architraves at the top of the room and corners no skirting boards skirting boards i don't know what they call it anywhere else but here in australia we call them skirting boards so i thought about putting a skirting board in the bottom but i just thought it would be a bit of fun not to do that and have the grass the 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 sand the walls just straight maybe i just went mm, no i don't know i have oh, what's it antique linen for my ground now i am not like it's it's a relatively smooth sort of blend but actually in real life it's a little bit a little bit uneven but nothing nothing major because i just thought the grass the grass uh, the carpet 
would be a children's in a in a children room a little bit um one stained um you know kids and also that the carpet would be um, you know you know sometimes when you vacuum the carpet and you end up with lines in the carpet that's not my carpet but you know what I mean like it's there's there's ways that it sits and everything anyway that's my theory behind it I don't know I'm using some Gina K masking paper here to and I've cut out some strips these strips were I th the one thing I didn't write down but I'm gonna say they look uh, like about a centimeter wide I've got the weathered wood I didn't show it or stormy sky I think it was stormy sky actually and I'm doing just sort of sponging through the background and trying to get up a little bit of a wallpapery sort of look I just thought that might be a little bit fun a little bit different now we're gonna go in so it's a bit of a mixture so this one is the stormy sky so we've just got a bit of a mixture so much sorry just had to pause there I had a cough oh dear I I'm not I'm not sure about this this Gina K I have bought some Eclipse on Amazon here in Australia we're not big Amazon people is it it's like little fingers big fingers it's slowly getting more and more that we have Amazon here we do have Amazon but not to the same degree as uh, my Melbourne peeps and my American peeps I should say I'm from Melbourne and I'm gonna try that out I use full step post-it notes for a lot of bits and pieces I have this other I've got quite a few I really should just use what I've got and I will use what I got don't get me wrong I will use what I've got but I don't know the Gina K I don't know whether I will be buying it again but maybe it's gonna be better off just for stamping the images rather than what I just did maybe that's where I'm going wrong I don't know my little mouse and some of my ground to give a highlight I'm doing the W5 W3 and W1 as you can see them I am giving trying to give his head and his ears a little bit of a rounded thing rounded space we're also going to have a little bit of um, oh what's it called reflected shadow so where his neck his head meets his the rest of his body I've put shadow underneath the head but on his actual head I've left like a millimeter or so of space before I've gone in with the darkest color and then blended that out with other with the three and the one the desk here as you can see we've got W uh, sorry E double four not W get it out of your mind that E double four E 43 and E 40 I'm trying to just give it a little bit of definition a little bit of it's harder to see but I do actually have a little bit think of um, like not so much pine but sort of like pine you know just very very light and um, not too much of a grain you know that's sort of pine rather than like the real pine we've got a YR16 YR14 and YR12 for my little shadow okay Lauren Fawn if you're out there and you happen to catch my video I'm just starting to get into Lawn Fawn images and how their coolness and everything else and that they all like are intermingled you know they all are roughly the same size and you can get one from here and you can get one from there we need a pile of dirty washing 
can we do that? Because this is not like my son's room at all. Now, please tell me. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one. Um, okay, pause for a sec. I am coming up to a little mistake. Well, I've just gone outside majors, but we're going to fix that. But I am coming up to a little mistake. And it's like full disclosure. Because this is for my son's birthday, you know. He won't be able to tell. I doubt, severely doubt. Although he's actually a good enough kid that he wouldn't admit it to whatsoever. It's coming very, very shortly, I think. Yeah, wait for it. It's coming. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You saw it. It happened. And nothing really saves it. It just sort of makes it even worse. So I tried and I tried, but we're going to go with it because it's my son's birthday and I sort of needed it. I really needed it. <laughs> anyway, let's go back to my desk, my drawers. I wanted them to be just a little bit different and out there. I've got B06, 05 and 02 the keys and the space bar and all that sort of stuff they're just 110 marker you could go 100 marker but it's the first one i saw so that's what i'm using i may have found that my my 100 was packed away or something i don't know with my paper i'm trying to just give a little bit of shadow so I'm trying very hard not to make it look rounded, so I'm just using a little bit to give it some definition so you can see that it's a piece of paper. And we're now going to try and figure out how to hide my image. Now, nothing, nothing worked. And you will see that later on what I put down here is actually not what I'm going to keep so I'm playing around I will end up with um, the lighter one I think or was it just the lighter gray that's down the bottom not these darker grays because I put them on and I went okay and then of course you look at it later and I'm going mm, no 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 it's just all wrong I don't like to restart things. I'm going to be completely honest. I don't like to restart things. But this is, it, it worked out all right. But this color is not going to be staying. Because it's just a little bit in your face, for the want of a better word. You know what I mean? Like it just stands out too much. They're too dark. They're too strong for what I want. So this point I went, yeah. They also, this, these are Kazercraft. Now, I have had them for a little while, but it's not the first time I've had problems with these, these sort of things sticking. I'm going to layer this all up, and then you can see where it will come through there. I'm actually going to call it done, and then come back tomorrow, the next day, and add more to it, and a little bit more different. So in the next day, so you can see here that I've changed the, I've taken the dark ones off. This is much better. They're not quite so in your face. Okay, so we're going to try and push this typewriter back or forward, I should say, including the desk. So I've got shadow underneath the desk and I'm going to provide a, a lot more shadow underneath there just to because it's gonna it's gonna provide it's gonna have a shadow because it's set back and underneath desks are usually a lot darker so getting back to what i said earlier lawn fawn uh, maybe they have one leave a comment down below in the description in the box in the comment box if you know of a stamp set that has a pile of clothes 
I need quite a big pile of clothes, honestly, because this whole, whole room is just a pile of clothes. So here I've gone back in with the C5 just to make sure that's a little bit darker. But it needs, they need, I'm like, your room is not this clean. Mm -mm. So that's what I need. I, I don't need it, but you know, it's fun. I honestly would have to stamp it, mask it, stamp more, mask it, stamp more, mask it, stamp more, mask it. I'm sure my son is not the only one that's out there. The next alteration I did was giving a little bit more texture to his carpet. Again, the W3 and the W1. Nothing too dark as the W5. But just to put a little bit more movement. That's what I'm trying to get. More movement into his carpet. And that is pretty much going to be it just about. I'm just softening the edges. I didn't want to see the flicks. So I've added a little bit more shading to the wallpaper. I hope you can't hear my children thumping around. But that is my final card. I hope you well. Take care and hit the like button. If you, I don't know, like this video, just whack at one. And I will hopefully talk you next, talk to you soon. Take care. See you later. Bye.